Hey everybody, Darren here from the Music Vault. I'm gonna try this video again as the phone kept ringing. Um, anyways, this is my video contest entry to Metal Ron. His channel just hit 500 subs, so that's awesome. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, so yeah, so what he wanted was five things of five different um, other things. So like five records or like Chris Dude 1973 just did one. He did five uh, dead artists that he wished that died too soon or that, you know, then he did um, five CDs or five music CDs or whatever. Anyways, I'm going to do, I'm keeping mine all to music. Um, and I got a theme going on here. If you can hear in the background. I hope I don't get tagged, but I probably will because it's overkill. Anyways, that's Metal Ron's favorite band. So, so I did five music related things. So I'm going to start it off with five cassettes. The first cassette being Metal Ron's favorite band, Overkill, Horoscope. Headpins, Canadian staple. Uh, glam band that basically have been around for the last cat's age. Pretty Boy Floyd. Most Probably most people have never heard of this band because they're not really huge. My favorite band, Rush 2112. And another Canadian thrash staple, Sacrifice, Torment and Fire. So that's five cassettes. So that's my first of five. My second of five, uh, I figured I would do Ron's favorite band. So my next set of five are five in no particular order, in no particular best to worst, my favorite to least favorite, whatever. They're just five random overkill records. First one, Years of Decay. Second one, The Electric Age. Third, From the Underground and Below. Four, Overkill, Wrecking Your Neck Live. From 85 to 95. And then Overkill, The Killing Kind. So there you go. That's two of five. Five CDs, five Overkill CDs. Um, the next one I will do will be five pictures. Now, unfortunately, these aren't overkill pictures, but these are five pictures in the last. The one right above my big melon here is a band called Cold Steel. And it's funny too, because there's five members of the band and all five guys have signed that picture. So technically there's my other five, five autographs from five different band members. Um, yeah, they're, uh, they were around in the 80s and then they went away for a number of years, I think. And I was introduced to them by um, Scott Waters, actually. He had uh, a demo album, I think it was, or something like that. So, yeah, so that's my next set of five. Five band members from one band, five autographs. Um, the next one up is five seven inch records, whatever, vinyl, small or seven inches. This one, the first one is the Crucified and this was the, I think it was the ultimate package. It's got, um, the test pressing, it's, it's uh, got test pressing, uh, it's got a red copy and a brown copy of the record. Later on they printed out like 
a ton like pink and black and white I think and clear and I just got this ultimate package and it's got um, one two three seven songs on it one of the original Christian punk bands um, up next is a Christian horror punk band called Grave Robber and this is the Straight to Hell EP and this one here is also signed by the members of the band Rot, Carcass, and Wretched I thought this I got this on a, a Kickstarter program and it took forever and a day. I, I actually I didn't think it was even going to materialize and the next minute it showed up in the mail so that was pretty cool the next one is a limited pressing of Born to Pieces from Frost Like Ashes. This is uh, limited to 100 pressings. And this is from Rocks Records. The next one up is limited to 150 pressings. Mine's number 68. And this is Armed for Battle 7 inch with Walking in Darkness from Join the Dead. And then it has two deliverance tracks on side B. What a joke, and it's the beat with Scott singing, uh, Jim Chaffin on drums from The Crucified, and Michael Phillips, guitar extraordinaire on guitar and bass. <clears throat> and the last seven inch, so that's four or five, is Left Coast Punk EP by MXPX. And this one is on Rock City Records. Oh, Sexy Baby Records, sorry. And this has got six songs. And this one was on... I can't remember what color this one's on. A mustard colored 7 inch. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so that is 4 to 5 so far cassettes, CDs, 7 inches, and the autographs. <clears throat> Last, but lot, lot, surely not least, I'm going to do 7 music DVD or 5 music DVDs, sorry. First one is, and actually I think they're all concert ones, except for one. Oh, two. This one is, I like this band, I like this band a lot. Uh, Gamma Ray, and this is Hell Yeah, The Awesome Foursome, live in Montreal. Next up is Judas Priest, Epitaph. And this has got like 28 songs, filmed and recorded at Hammersmith Apollo, London, May 26, 2012. That was obviously on the Epitaph Tour. Next one up is, to me, like, the godfathers of punk, hardcore, and that is Agnostic Front, live at CBGB's, this is a double disc, um... Actually, now that I think about it, one's a DVD and the other one is a CD. So, yeah, so that's a uh, double disc from Nuclear Blast, Agnostic Front, probably one of the greatest hardcore punk bands ever. They were just influential to everybody. Uh, next is, um, I like this band too, this is a really cool band. And that is Black Dahlia Murder Majesty. And this has got uh, over three hours of footage on two discs. It's got some live stuff. It's got some band hijinks. It's got old behind the scenes stuff. Uh, great slab of death metal, courtesy of Black Dahlia. <clears throat> and the last thing I've got, I got right from the man himself. And that would be Born in the Basement from Rat Skates. And I thought that would be very fitting 
to start with overkill, to listen to overkill, to show some overkill, and to end with the... I think he was the original drummer of overkill. Or... On the, at least on their very first recording, the Overkill EP, he was on that, Feel the Fire, Taking Over, and that was it, and then he was gone. Um, but yeah, actually, Rat Skates uh, actually became a Christian and uh, left the band. So yeah, so there you go, Rat Skates, Born in the Basement. So that is my fifth DVD. Five of five, so I have like five DVDs, five CDs, five cassettes, five seven inches, and five autographs. Anyways, Ron, congratulations on 500 subs, buddy, and uh, I hope to get there one day. Although, it is what it is, dude. Have fun and enjoy your day, bud. Okay, guys, see you later.